So welcome everyone from the for the Strumzy community call on May 5th. And the first thing on the agenda, open PRs and issues. Uh, I added one issue there, Paolo, that's your PR, I wondered. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I, for it are. No, no, yeah, yeah, I, I just commented that. I, I really don't know how, how I forgot to, to update. So I agree on the discussion. I'm going to remove this uh, cruise control prefix because uh, it's inside the class that it's clear that it's about cruise control. And uh, yeah, I have the ID open to make the refactoring and just pushing the commit, so. Okay. Anyone has any other PRs to discuss? If not, then the next point on the agenda is uh, incubation. Have we made any progress there? So my side, um, we i was working on searching for people uh we know that the, the due diligence is about having uh interviews with users for incubation how they are using the project uh, in production etc cetera, etc cetera. so i have got uh, a couple of uh, users that uh, are willing to to help us so um when uh, the pr will be opened and the cncf toc will ask for people for having the interview we have these people, luckily. Uh, so yeah, I guess that opening the PR is, is close and uh, we should do that in the next days, I guess. Don't know, Tom, if uh, you have something to add here, but I guess that it's more or less the status of the, the heart. And we cannot hear you, Tom, if you're talking. I see you are on mute. Not yet. Tom, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yes, I can now. Yeah. I didn't have Zoom installed on my computer. <laughs> I thought I did. But, uh, took me a while to sort it out. I guess Paolo might have meant Tom Bentley. Yeah, I was referring to Tom <laughs> Bentley. <laughs> well, that's fine. No, I'll just show up then. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Hey, that's good. It's just Fedora doing its usual thing. Let me just adjust the stereo as well, because it decided I want to get everything through my left ear, which I don't. What was the question again? No, if you have something to add to the status of this. Uh... I've not. The only other thought I had, I don't think it happens sort of at the start of the process, but um, there is a, a point in the process where um, it becomes sort of open for public comment um, about sort of, you know, whether um, the project should be moved up to incubation. And in order to sort of get people sort of um, engaged with that, I mean, sort of Strimsy users, we might want to plan um, a blog post on that and sort of some sort of publicity to say, um, to say that that's sort of what's happening and explain to people how they can um, comment on the CNCF um, thread if you know they sort of they want to. I don't know whether we need something sort of before that point to say you know we're um, we're starting the process or whether just at the point that it opens for public comment we sort of uh, have a, a blog post then but that was the another thought I had. Yeah, I would say that it's a good idea 
just to publicize that we are moving in this direction and having people. Uh, I, I, I can write that one. So if we want to write the blog post when I open the PR or waiting for public comments, I, I will, yeah. Uh, if there is this step that we have to wait for public comments, I will just wait for them. Otherwise people can read the blog post and then they cannot comment. So I would say, let's wait for the public comment uh, phase and then we can publish the blog post, but we can of course um, write the blog post uh, up front so that we are ready when needed. Well, I guess that might be a long time before we get there. Yeah, the only thing is that uh, if we open the PR, publish the blog post, but then people cannot comment, I don't know how much has the value of writing the blog post for publicizing public comments. But you are right, yeah, that can happen after a long time. Yeah, I mean, what I was trying to say is that I don't think it makes sense to prepare the blog post now if you need it in six months or a year or something like that. Ah, okay. Okay, anything else to incubation? If not, then another topic we talked about recently was the survey. Yes, I've got a bit of an update here. So I gave the feedback to CNCF and they've done everything. And I had a look at it this morning. They basically wanted me to just sort of double check um, and it looked fine to me. So I've told them that that looks good to me. Um, so I think we're waiting on them now as to exactly when it gets opened and they'll presumably give us the link and then we can um, obviously publicize that. So we're going to need a blog post, I guess, to say that we're running this survey and here's the link. And if you use Trimsy, five minutes to fill it in. It's only, I think, 10 questions. Um, so I don't know if anyone wants to volunteer for writing that blog post. He says not wanting to write it himself. I guess we can volunteer Paolo who wanted to write the <laughs> incubation blog post. <laughs> Already he can write this one. Thanks for volunteering, Paolo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm happy. You can see that I am really happy. Well, we should have something from the previous survey, right? Maybe I don't remember if we blogged about about the the, the previous one. Based on it doesn't need to be long. It's basically oh, just oh yes, hey, yes, just um, yeah, absolutely. Yes, couple of, couple of paragraphs and the promise of sharing the results with the community uh, when we get them. So uh, I will prepare that, and uh, yeah, um, are we waiting for some finalites on the current one? So we have some feedback from CNCF, right? I think we're basically just waiting for them to click the buttons to make it public, or possibly there's a little bit of back and forth about when it should start and when it should finish. But that's sort of the stage we're at. We're basically ready to go. So we could certainly, you know, draft the blog post at this point. Okay. Okay. So I will wait for uh, your uh, uh, ready to go. Okay. Okay. But I felt so while, bad yeah. about. Sorry. I felt so bad about spoiling your enthusiasm for the incubation book post. So now I feel much better. <laughs> no worries, Jakub. <laughs> okay. Anything else to the to the survey? Then I guess the next topic is uh, the KubeCon office hours. Uh, I don't know if you got some more updates already, Paolo, or, or not yet. I think it's in two weeks, so. Well, no emails from CNCF right now. Um, we filled the, the names of the maintainers to be there. I remember that they were uh, me, you, Jakub, Jakub Stischkal, and Tom Bentley, right? 
uh, if I remember correctly. So you should have registered for the office hours. And uh, no, no news. We should just start, yeah, to prepare something for our session. I guess we should cancel the community call in two weeks. Since that will be KubeCon and we will have the office hours. Uh, let me check. Uh... I see that the office hours is uh, on eighteenth. Uh, oh, you want anyway? Cancel the, the streams the community call because it's over the KubeCon. Yeah, I don't know. I guess a lot of people might be. Yeah. Busy yeah. with KubeCon and uh, the office hours the day before are kind of similar. Yeah, kind of meeting in a way you. where people can join and ask. So I don't know if it makes sense to have both the office hours and the community call. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. Anything else to keep on? If not, then uh, we are at the end of the agenda. So does anyone have uh, any other business or anything else they wanted to raise and discuss? Hearing nothing, I guess that's it for today. So thanks for joining everyone. And see you at the KubeCon office hours maybe in two weeks or in one month on the next community call. Yep, see you folks. Have a nice day. Bye. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very Thank much. You. Bye. Bye.